come to Frisco, Texas in a rematch of the 2017 championship game between North Dakota State and James Madison University. But we are set. This is football weather as toe meets leather. The Dukes with the football to start the game here. A little pressure come off the corner. Danucci delivers another strike complete to Riley Stapleton. Eludes a tackler and out to the 45-yard line. Another first down. A missed tackle on the play by Tutsi. A 17-yard game. Well, Riley Stapleton's going to be a key all day for JMU and for North Dakota State to deal with. They brought the corner blitz, so it's a safety matched up on a six foot five, 230-pound receiver. Hamilton in the backfield. Danucci completes it. Touchdown, Stapleton! Riley Stapleton, one half of the brother combination for JMU. And the Dukes on the board first. Easy throw, inside receiver, just gonna run a slant. Perfect timing, tight window throw, defense. Lance gonna tuck it under and try to run and pick it up. And he does, and then some. Trey Lance down to the 39. First down, Bison. Well, this is a huge part of what they do. Third and 11, JMU's going to bring pressure. Man-to-man -man outside, which means who's going to count for the quarterback. Just a simple quarterback lead. Excellent job by 66. Nash Jensen getting on the second level. And then Trey Lance getting it done in the open field. Field lining up out of the eye on second and goal. Cofield gets the call. No doubt about that one. Adam Cofield, their bigger, more physical running back, puts his left foot in the ground, hop, skip, and maybe a triple jump <laughs> to get to the end zone for Cofield. Second down and nine. Under heat, shows his escapability. Took a hit and stayed on his feet. And the pack moving beyond the first down. A herd couldn't bring down Trey Lance. Power and never give up. 95 defensive tackles are going to come in right now. Evades the rush. Now watch the power, the sheer will. He's not going to go down. Then it's just a scrum. <laughs> and that's ugly but beautiful football, if you know what I'm saying, Mark Jones. Wow. It was interesting on the double reverse. The keeper that Spurs down the sideline. Spurs tricked him. Touchdown. Second down and 10. Quarterback keeper by Danucci. Danucci showing off his wheels. And Ben Danucci picks up the first down from 26 yards out. Pure. 14 to 10 now. First down and 10. Double eye formation and Brooks emerging from the pack. Ty Brooks with another first down. A 21-yard pickup. This is bully ball right here. We've got three guys in the backfield, quarterback under center, old-school smash-mouth football. Just a simple power, and it's power football. As you'll take a look at Ty Brooks running through arm tackles in the open field. The Bison looking for the end zone here in the second was injured in the first game of the year, and they fake it. They keep it. Surprise! Touchdown, Bison! Hendricks on the sprint. What a call! One more look at the fake field goal for a touchdown. Hendrick with the dash into the end zone for North Dakota State in pursuit of perfection. 15-0 coming into the game today. And that's what perfect looks like. Jose Obese on that last carry. Danucci with time stands firmly and delivers complete. Once again, it's Stapleton for a 19-yard pickup. What a day so far for the Stapleton brothers. What better finish can you have than one versus two? Racky going to try it again. 39 yards out. 
Got it. Oh, it hit the upright. It hit the upright. No good. Jose Obese still on the loose. And another first down all the way down to the 27-yard line. 16-yard pickup that time. Well, there's penetration up the field by the Bison defense, and it's patience and excellent cut. Put the right foot in the ground, make a man miss, and Ajay Obese out in the open field, and the Dukes are on the move. First and 10. Ajay Obese staying on his feet. Picks up eight. In comes Racky. Missed one. Bouncing one off the upright earlier from 39. This one from 27. And no doubt about that one. Back deep, standing at his own 25-yard line. He's taken one back 85 yards this year on a punt return for a touchdown. But great downfield tackling there in the open field by Ross Kennelly. It's time they're going to toss it to Watson. Watch Daka here. And then the outside cornerback. Both these guys stay at home and are right there to make the play on the reverse and shut Christian Watson down for nothing and a huge loss, putting the Bison way behind the stick. Third and 23 for North Dakota State. Lance on the move. Trey Lance. Trey Lance again. Touchdown. 44 yards for the score. This guy is electric. They held Trey Lance to negative one yards rushing in that third quarter, and he opens up the fourth quarter with a massive play. Lance, and once he identifies man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to see this hole coming back here, and it's off to the races. They're in man-to-man -man coverage, and like I mentioned, no spy. It's not zone coverage, so there's not a bunch of eyeballs on the quarterback. A couple of nice blocks down the field, and the rest is Trey Lance. Nobody knows the culture and understands the corporate knowledge better than he does. A great punt by Wigner. Uh-oh. Drives Amos all the way back to the 20. A dangerous punt returner. They could use one here. Amos still on his feet, weaving his way across midfield patiently and puts JMU in good starting field position here. Polk has been very quiet so far today. They hand it off on the run, and all the way down to the 15 is Latrell Palmer again. And they pick up a first down. Danucci looks left, now comes back the other way. Going to try and take off, do it himself. Put his hat down and played a little muscle ball. Let's see where they spot it. It looks like he got it. It is right on the strike. Boy, Ben Danucci figured it was time to do it himself. He knew he had to make a play. He had to be tough, physical. Boom! Runs through the contact. To move the sticks, what a crucial first down. Palmer in the backfield. Little receiver screen to Pete. Touchdown, Stapleton. Dylan, pardon me, Riley. Well, it's two tight ends out here. He's going to seal here. He's going to seal here. It opens wide up. And then the big physicality of Riley Stapleton, who we've talked about from the opening drive. He's 6'5", 230. He's a tough... Three minutes away from perfection. Lance keeps it, and he's going to be stopped up no, short. No, no, the Dukes look like they stopped them short. They throw it out, looking for the double pass, and a sack back to the 42 by Jabril Cox. Gives them their moment of enshrinement. The shuffle pass, and it looks like he's going to have just enough. Let's see where they spot it. And they're going to give him the first down. Hamilton brought down by Hankey. Tanucci into traffic again. Up high, and a great grab by Riley Stapleton. Sometimes you're just bigger, badder, and you're going to go get it. 
Eight seconds to go. Seeking atonement. Danucci in the end zone. Picked off. And it ends just like last year for Ben Danucci. Hendricks with the INT. Hendricks with the pick and a bilious, odious rerun for Ben DiNucci, just like last year. Hendricks with his fifth pick of the season and the biggest one of the year for the Bison. Okay, well, they're going to motion Brandon Polk across, okay? And they're going to try to set him up in the flats. He comes out. But it's James Hendricks, the safety, who reads it the entire way, knows exactly what he's getting, steps in front of the pass, and secures the eighth national championship Unbelievable. for the North Dakota State Bison. We asked you and told you what perfection looks and feels and sounds like. Well, you're looking it at it right now. Ben DiNucci's afternoon ends in defeat. They're the first team since Yale to finish perfect 16-0 since 1894.